Hello, this is Mike Lively from Northern Kentucky University, and today we're going to start part 13 of Over the Rhine with Adobe Flex. And finally, we're going to show you how to deploy that application to the web. Now in the Flex 2 days, typically you'd go to the bin folder, and you'd have to select which files you're going to put up on the web, and there are quite a few. And it was a little bit confusing, but Adobe has made this easier in Flex 3. In Flex 3, go to Project, and choose Export Release Build accept the uh, options and we're going to send this to a bin release folder so hit finish and what the program is doing is taking all the debug information out of the application and I've noticed that a lot of the SWFs that have compiled this way are about half the size of the ones that hold the debug information and they run much faster when deployed from the bin release you could come in here and do the same thing you did in Flex 2 and put this on the web and run it some computers will have difficulty with it and it will run about half the speed and be about twice the size but instead you want to go to this bin release and what's great here is you don't have to select which files you're gonna put up on the web just put all of this on the web and your program will run let me talk a little bit about the different files here uh, we're actually looking at uh, over the Rhine uh, 12 it has an HTML file which is commonly called the HTML wrapper for the SW file which lives inside the HTML page you have a JavaScript file here, which is needed for the uh, HTML to talk to the browser. And you have a play production install, which is so cool because in the old days of Flash, you know, we had to write these uh, version detection systems, which detected which version of Flash you had. And if you didn't have the, the required version, it would take you to a page to download it. This actually does all this automatically for you. So if your user does not have the Flash Player 9 or current version of Flash, this will tell them so and take them to the page to download. So it's a great file. All of this with your data, your uh, history and images go up. So what I'm going to do is just grab this and copy it into a folder and then upload this to the web. And uh, I want to link to that HTML page to make it run. So let's do that. There are two FTP programs that we commonly use, FileZilla and Dreamweaver, and we have tutorials on YouTube on both of those. So go check those YouTube tutorials out if you don't know how to do either one of those. We're going to use Dreamweaver for this particular FTP. So let's copy this and put it into a folder. So I have created a folder on my desktop called OTR FTP. And I want to go ahead and paste this content from the bin release folder into that folder. The great thing is, is that I can just copy and paste directly from Flex. So let's copy that and now paste it. And it pasted the in and we pasted the entire bin release folder there. And now we're going to bring up our FTP, choose this folder, and upload it to our server. So let's bring up Dreamweaver. Okay, we have Dreamweaver up now, so let's choose Site. Choose New Site. And you don't want to use the Basic tab. You want to use Advanced, and I'm going to give this a name. We'll call it OTR over the Rhine FTP. Let's navigate to the folder that we have the contents in. And I'm going to go right to the desktop and navigate to OTR FTP and navigate to bin release. And click on that. And you'll see all my files in a moment once I select that. Uh, next, go to Remote Info and go to FTP. And let's type in our FTP host, which is www.nkuas.org. And we'll get all this information from our server provider, of course. And type in our username and our password. And I always like to test because I misspell sometimes. And we're ready to go, so just hit OK. OK. And that's going to open up my file transfer window. And there's all my data to be transferred. You can see data, history, images, and the over the Rhine 12. Let's uh, open that up and connect. So let's create a folder on our public HTML. So let's right click and hit New Folder.
and this is untitled, so let's uh, name it. And we'll name it OTR FTP. And so now the folder is created, we'll just come over here and highlight the information and drag and drop it right into that folder. And as soon as it's transferred, we have a website on the web and we can d navigate directly to that and we'll do that. Now just real quick as this trans transferring, let me say I'm actually only running application 12 so I could have deleted application 11 just for convenience I threw it up there sometimes you can use that to go back look at a previous version if you've lost that on flex but uh, a good practice would be to go ahead and just delete it I was a little lazy today so I went ahead and le left it another thing too as well you see this uh, over the Rhine uh, HTML right here you can actually change that to index and just reference the folder as opposed to actually referencing the folder and then the HTML page and we'll take a look at that real quick So our Dreamweaver upload is complete, and now let's see how that looks on the web. So if you remember the address, I'm going to go and paste it in here. So the address was www.nkuas.org uh, forward slash OTRFTP over the Rhine, there we go, 12. And there we go. Our application now lives on the web. If you want to uh, not reference that HTML file, you can just go back into your folder, and we'll do that right now. Rename that uh, HTML wrapper 12 to index. And when you do this, the web application looks for the index, and so you can actually leave that whole uh, extra term off and just reference the folder OTRFTP which is more intuitive to your users. So let's run that and there's the application. So that's how you uh, deploy a Flex application to the web and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial.